The reason why I'm making this really quick video is because I have seen a lot of posts on here about, I just pitched my yeast about eight hours ago. I don't see anything happening or gosh, it's been 12 hours. I've, I've gone to bed. I've had breakfast. I've, I've checked on the fermenter. It's, nothing's happening. I don't see anything in the airlock. What's going on? Well, honestly, um, I've, I've responded to a lot of people with the same answer. And uh, you got to remember, yeast, before they eat, need to store up their energy. So um, different strains of yeast, it'll take longer for them to start uh, chowing down on the food. Especially if you're making a really big beer. If you're making a big beer, it's going to take them even more energy. What helps is making a starter. I post a quick video on how to make a, a simple starter. Uh, my video, like I said, it's simple. So if you want to make a larger starter, just multiply, you know, <clears throat> the ingredients by a certain amount based upon the size of beer you want. Um, so what I'm going to show you is last night, it was about 7 o'clock, I pitched my Munich Lager yeast into my Baltic Porter. I woke up this morning at about 7 o'clock. Wandered on down here. I just wanted to see if anything was going on. Wouldn't you know it? Nothing was happening. At least what I could see. Little did I know, because I completely forgot what I was telling other people, that yeast needed to store up their energy before they start chowing down. Even though I made a starter, the starter I made was just might have been a little too small for the uh, batch I was brewing, so it took a little bit longer. Because yeast can start anywhere between... You can see fermentation actually happening anywhere between, I don't know, 8 to 72 hours. Of course, the longer, not always the better because you, 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 don't, want, you don't really want your yeast to be taking that long, per se. I mean, it's not going to really hurt your beer, but uh, it, it, it'll give you better attenuation and you'll just have healthier yeast. Live, they'll live longer. So... It's about 2 o'clock in the afternoon, I think, um, maybe 2.30. So that puts us at about 17 hours. So 7 to 7 is 12, plus 5 is 12 p.m., so that's, da, 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 da. yep, so, uh, 17 hours. So here we go. I'm going to open up my refrigerating unit upon opening this up this morning there was absolutely nothing going on in here that I could see no airlock movement no croissant on top nothing that was at 7 o'clock this morning it's between 2 and 2 30 right now so let's see if I can get a better close-up of the brew So it's got a nice size croissant going on right now. Airlock activity. Very nice. It smells amazing in here. And I am currently at about 55 to 60 degrees Fahrenheit inside here right now for my primary fermentation. And you're all wondering, how does he monitor that? Well, I've also posted that before in other videos. I've got a temperature probe and a beer bottle down there. The probe goes up. And I have my little Johnson controls. Oh, focus. Oh, there we go. And then when you zoom in there, you can dial it to whatever temperature you want. It's as accurate as you want to get. So, just dial it in. And uh, I'll show you. Here's the cord to your uh, freezer. Here's the cord to the temperature controlling unit. So you just plug it in and it'll go. Don't freak out. That's all there is to it. I've I've heard a lot of, you know, 
responses to the questions? Anything from, uh, I guess I should say, when people ask questions like that, what's going on with my fermentation? Why don't I see, why don't I see anything? People start going, oh, well, what, what temperature did you, did you pitch your yeast at? What temperature did you do this at? What, what uh, did you mash in correctly? Did you do all this? It, in, in all honesty and sincerity to those people, those questions, the way I like to think about it is you're going straight to the big problem rather than the little problem. Uh, you really got to come down to um, the viability of the yeast. Um, did you make a starter? That's your first thing. Um, and how long have you been waiting? Because depending on the size beer you made and the viability of the yeast, it could, it could be a while. So that's pretty much all I have to say about my uh, Baltic Porter fermentation and I hope that I have eased the pain a lot of home brewers have in aspect of, uh, you know, why is my beer not fermenting yet. Just have patience. Don't forget, um, whenever you get a chance, please visit the Homebrew Network on Facebook. Um, there are many other questions on that group just like the one dealing with yeast and fermentation. Um, we also have the website www.thehomebrewnetwork.com so feel free to stop by, ask questions, have fun, brew safe.